right, uh, Drive Radio fans, I'm your host today, John Rush. We've got the long review of the 2014 LS460, Lexus LS460. This is the all-wheel drive version. Very, very nice car. Uh, this car retails out at 90,444, so 9444. Starts out at around 75,000. This car fully equipped. Again, $90,000 and some change. It's got every option except for adaptive cruise control, which I'll talk about as we go through the interior and the driving portion. Uh, Lexus, that should be a standard option on this, on this expensive of a car. Very cool headlights. Uh, these particular headlights on this particular car, uh, it's hard to explain not being dark and showing you, but they follow the road. And what I mean by that is if you're turning right, this left headlamp stays straight ahead the right one will follow the road as you're turning the right. Typically cars that even follow the road, both headlights will actually turn. In this particular car, each headlight turns independently depending upon how you're turning the vehicle. Kind of a cool feature. It keeps one light straight ahead of you and the other one watching whichever direction you're turning, the light follows that. Also has some cornering lamps down here that also help you. Those are built in right here. They also help you see around the corner. That, that part of it makes it very, this is a driver's car. It makes it very nice, I was gonna say. This is a driver's car. Uh, it's got uh, all the ability to see around you. That's what all the sensors are for, backing up, pulling forward, pulling into parking spots, etc. Uh, Richard, my son, said in the shorter review, this is a driver's car, even to the fact that once we get into the back seat, I'll show you in the interior. This is a car where if you've got a, you know, a chauffeur, somebody that wants to drive you around, uh, you're buying this car where you can actually shuttle people around. Maybe you've got a business where you shuttle people around, etc. That's what this car is designed for, with the exception of the small trunk that we'll get into in just a moment. That's the only, na only, only bad thing. Two, two bad marks I have for this car. Small trunk. No standard adaptive cruise and the controls for the cruise need to be upgraded. But again, this is a 2014 model. I don't know what the 2015s look like, although I don't think exterior-wise they're a lot different. This is a, I think, is a good-looking car. We received comments from folks looking at it both directions. Some liked it, some didn't. I actually like the car. When we get to the interior, I'll show you some of the things that are kind of unique to this particular car. Some things you'd expect out of a $90,000 car. But some of you would say, John, you know, again, why do you guys review such expensive cars? Well... Again, just remember, this car will not, will not always be a new car. It will be a used car someday. Some of you out there like to buy cars that are 5, 6, even 10 years old. Eventually, this car will be used. You'll be able to pick that car up for a lot less money for a substantially reduced cost is what I should say. But you know what, folks? There are a lot of people that can afford this car. There's a lot of business owners, etc., that can afford this high-priced car. And in that world, uh, you know what? If they've got a use for it and they can justify it, Lexus must still be able to sell enough of them or they wouldn't keep building it. So there is a need for this car around the country and around the world or they would not continue to build it. But let's go for a drive. We'll then come back. We'll do the interior and we'll keep going on the 2014 Lexus LS460 all-wheel drive. All right, folks, driving portion, LS460, a small V8, lots of horsepower, 17, 18 miles to the gallon is what we've averaged. This car works well. I'm not going to go through all the infotainment because it's very standard with all the other Lexuses that we've actually done. You know, look over to the side, look at some of the other Lexus reviews we've done. I'm not going to go through all of this because it's pretty standard. If you know Lexus, you know their infotainment system. I love the controls that they have. It makes it very easy. Real quick, we talked about it even in the short review, all the different selectors that you've got from Comfort Eco, Normal, Sport, Sport Plus. It changes some configurations on the dash. It can change the way, it does change the way the vehicle actually handles. It's also got a snow mode. It changes the ride quality, handling, how it steers, the responsiveness, uh, the shift points, all those different things are all controlled through this dial and they do work very well. You can also see the seat heaters down here. We talked about the rear uh, covers uh, on the interior portion that you'll watch later. We go through this. I'm not going to go through it now because I actually show you how these button works. So we talk about that later. But again, pretty standard stuff. Let's just go take for, take a ride. I won't go through the backup camera because that's a pretty standard thing. But I'm going to hit some of these bumps. Richard's going to hold the camera still. And you'll just see that this car just doesn't move things around a lot. You know, no matter how big the bump is, look at some of the other reviews we've gotten. You'll just see the difference in the camera shake versus what we're doing in this LS460. This car, and you can tell, I'm not having to raise my voice to talk to you uh, on camera driving this car. Granted, we're not going very fast, but here's something about this car. It doesn't change. Whether I'm doing 25 miles an hour or 65 miles an hour, the interior comfort level re really doesn't change a lot. So let me hit these bumps here. You can kind of see what I mean. It, it's just, this car is just phenomenally smooth. 
And if you were in the back seat, in fact, I should have put Richard in the back seat to film this because being in the back seat, uh, you know, you really wouldn't think that uh, that you're really, you know, even even driving along. I mean, as you're riding along, this car just works fantastic. In fact, I think we'll pull over. You know, we don't do this very often. I'm going to pull over and I'm going to put Richard in the back seat. So stay with us. We're going to put him in the back seat for the rest of this driving portion so you can really see what it's like to be in the back seat of the LS 460. Folks, so now you know what it's to be what it's like to be in the back seat of the LS460 driving along, being chauffeured around, and just kind of give you an idea, that's really what this car probably is marketed and targeted to is somebody that's either got a driver or you're gonna take a lot of long road trips or you've got people that you shuttle around quite often. Uh, you know, this probably isn't just the average two-person, you know, ownership type car, even a single ownership car, you're going to buy something that's a lot more sporty. This car is meant to have a driver. I can hear from the sound back there, Richard actually has on the massaging seats in the rear seat. Again, this car is designed as much for the rear passenger as it is for me up here driving. I would be the chauffeur, Richard would be the guy in the back that I'm actually driving around to and from whatever event he would need to go to. But continue to watch us. We're going to go through the rest of the interior on the 2014 LS 460 all-wheel drive. Fantastic car, fantastic ride. Stay with us. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed the driving portion. We'll now do the interior. Here's the trunk, and again, kind of a cool feature. Automatic opening trunk. It opens itself up. It'll actually close the exact same way. Again, one of the knocks I have in this car is if you look back here, we've positioned this with the sun. Not a huge trunk. It's tall, but it's not very deep. This car needs to be just a tad longer and the ability to put more trunk space in it. And again, just, just, a, just a slight knock, nothing major. Again, push the button. It'll actually drop back down. But let's check out the rear seat here real quick and I'll just show you how much room is actually in the back seat of this car, which is, which is really, again, this seat's all the way back. I'm sitting in here comfortably, plenty of room, all controls, if you can see this inside here, all the controls for the interior of this rear seat are back here. Really, I mean, you can just see just an array of buttons to do everything from controlling HVAC to the massaging of the seats to the heated seats that are back here. Again, you name it, it'll do everything. It's even got a space in here to store different things in. Again, this is a car meant for a, a driver, somebody sitting in the back seat. The sound system is very good. Uh, this car just works great. Um, I, I can't say enough about it, whether you're in the front seat, the back seat. Anybody that I had in the back seat just really loves sitting back here. So we're going to kind of do this interior in two parts. We're going to jump to the front seat, and I'll show you more about it. But again, as you can see, just a luxurious back seat. If you look at the headliner back here, in fact, Richard, real quick, if you can show this, you know, the headliner is, is not the typical material. This headliner is actually really a, it's a soft material. Uh, again, drop-down mirror. There's a vanity mirror back here, even for the back seat passenger. Air vents, grab handles. Uh, speakers right above your head. Again, th this is, as we keep saying, this is a driver's car. And what I mean by that is not you driving it, but you having a driver to drive you around. Real quick, I also want to show you another cool feature this car has that, that a lot of the luxury cars have. But if I, I don't have to shut this door all the way. I just barely shut it, and that door is going to suck in all by itself. Let me show you that one more time. That's just really a cool feature. So all I have to do is just barely get the door shut and it'll suck itself in. Very, very cool. It's a lot like a lot of the trunks used to be on a lot of the other cars back in the day, but a very cool feature. All right, we'll stop for the tape for just a moment. We'll go inside and we'll keep reviewing the interior of this car, but stay with us. All right, folks, we kind of jumped to the front. And again, a little longer review because there's so many things this car does. Uh, one of the things that we didn't talk about when we were in the back is if you want shade in the back, there's buttons here in the front that I can control these different shades. Richard's gonna show you from the outside in the actual shades, and they even pulls out a little piece on the rear on the rear portion. So even that, let me show you again. I'll, I'll bring that back in. Richard can show that up close. We can actually show that going in and out, how that works. So again, just a really cool feature. You know, again, you'd expect that on a $90,000 plus car. One of the things too for the back seat passengers, which is kind of cool, I can actually run this seat forward and backwards. If I'm sitting in the back, there's buttons in here that I can actually move this seat forward and backwards. So if the guy in the back wants a little more leg room, he has control over the passenger seat in the front. As you can see on the door panel over here, you've got memory, three different positions for the memory on the passenger seat. Drivers is the same way. Uh, uh, there's a nice big door pocket that both of them have that pop out. Richard will show you. Uh, big speaker, you know, big, big stereo system in this car. Uh, audio, we, we talked about some of that stuff while we were driving it. But this car, just phenomenal. Runs well, drives well. You know, big V8, uh, 300 plus horsepower, 4.6 liter V8. Our mileage, I talked about this in the driving portion, is only around 17 to 18 miles to the gallon. But 
again, if you're buying this car, you're not buying it for fuel economy, you're buying it for the luxury. Uh, we talked, as, again, in the driving portion about the infotainment system and some of the things that are standard. But again, beautiful bamboo, uh, you know, I don't know if it's bamboo or light oak, it looks like bamboo to me, but light, light trim, uh, real wood. Uh, they've done another cool thing here that Richard showed me earlier, which I didn't even know on this console. So if I just want to kind of shut this, it'll automatically close itself. So if I do that again, you just kind of barely shut it and it'll actually close itself. Again, just some cool features that they've done. This is a really nice car to sit in the back seat of, to sit in the passenger seat of, or to drive. No matter how you do it, this is a very comfortable car. Yes, it's $90,000, but you know what? It competes with all the other cars that are in that particular that particular range. Richard asked me earlier, you know, why would you buy this versus a you know full Escalade or a full Land Rover or something like that? Well, you know, not everybody wants to drive a big SUV. This is still all-wheel drive. It'll still get you around in the snow. It's a lot more comfortable than those big SUVs are. And one thing is they're easier to get passengers in and out of. That's a lot of the reason why they still build these big luxury sedans, especially for the limo industry. They can still get people in and out of the back seats much easier. But continue to watch our reviews. Listen to us every Saturday, 10 a.m to 1 p.m. Drive Radio is our is our radio show that we do on Saturdays. It's on AM 560 KLZ here locally. You can find us on the TuneIn app. Again, KLZ 560. You can watch us live on YouTube. Just go to youtube.com, type in the search bar, Drive Radio, all one word. If you found us that way, please go back to our website, drive-radio.com. If you found us on Drive Radio, please check out our YouTube channel. But hope you enjoy the reviews. Continue to watch. And uh, any suggestions you've got, send them our way, and we'll take them to heart and do the best we can to, uh, to get everything satisfied for you guys on your end. We're doing this for you so that you have something that you can compare your vehicles to that you're looking to buy uh, and or drive on down the road. So with that, we're out of here. Uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks a lot. God bless.